Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. Today, I have a really cool Camaro to show you. This is a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Resto Mod convertible. This car has tons of really cool features. Being a Resto Mod, it was restored with more modern features like an LS motor, wide body fenders and quarter panels, modern two-piece wheels, big wheelwood brakes. Let's go ahead and just look up to the front. Just wanted to point out some of the key features. Up here in the front, you do have the matte black grill. You have the carbon fiber lower valence there that looks really, really good. Gives this car a really sporty look. You have the RS Hideaway headlights here. Another cool feature to this car just gives it that bad to the bone look. As you can tell, the paint and the body work on this car is phenomenal. This car is just absolutely beautiful. You have the very subtle hockey stick stripe here. It's also black, just slightly a different color. So it's almost like a ghost type stripe. You hardly even see it unless you're really looking at it. And I don't know if Justin can get an angle of this, but your actual front fender here has actually been widened. I would say the owner didn't know the exactly how wide it's been widened. I'd say about three inches if I had to guess. But it really gives it that wide stance that makes the car look really, really aggressive. As you can see here, as we work down, all the trim has been matte black done in matte black and it looks really good. Gives it that really sporty, aggressive look. And as we work on down past the quarter here, you'll see that the typical uh, gills that you get here on a 69 have been taken away and you now have a air duct here. Gives it a little bit more modern feel. Kind of reminds me of the air duct that you get on the Z06 Corvette to help get that extra cooling there to the brakes. As we walk on down here, you'll see again here, the trim has been done in flat black and it looks really, really good. You also have the carbon fiber back here on your back spoiler. And the carbon fiber on this car is very high quality. You can tell by looking at the strands. We'll get Justin to get a, a close-up B-roll shot of that to show you how nice that really looks. But overall, this car just has an awesome, awesome look. And what's even better is what's under the hood. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move back up front and we'll check out what's under the hood. Wow, take a look at that engine bay. One thing that I like about this is the exterior theme follows into the engine bay here. You've got the black engine covers with the hockey stick stripe. That is an LS3 engine with 435 horsepower. Gives you plenty of power to get up and go and have plenty of fun in. I really love the aluminum intake there. That really fits in with all the extra chrome and aluminum features in the engine bay. I love the billet hood hinges as well. Definitely a clean look. You've got the, the uh, braces there on the uh, fenders and on the core support there. You also have the shaved firewall as well that really just gives everything a real clean look in the engine bay. You've got the aluminum radiator with the two electric fans to keep everything cool. Overall, just a very simple but clean look. And I just really, really like this engine bay. And I like when it, people keep it clean and simple. But with that being said, let's go ahead and start this thing up and see what this thing sounds like. And when we get done with that, we'll check out the interior. All right, guys, we're now in the interior of the 69 Camaro. As you can see, the interior is just as nice as the exterior. We'll start up front here. I really want to talk about this steering wheel. I really love this leather wrap steering wheel. A lot of steering wheels you get nowadays are not true leather, but this is a true leather wrap steering wheel. It's got a really good look. It follows the theme of the car with the black and the, and the stainless or the uh, billet. Uh, we'll work up here to the gauges. You do have auto meter gauges. As you can tell, you've got the carbon fiber background and you also have the carbon fiber inlay here on the gauges. Um, you have the 160 mile an hour speedometer, which you'll definitely need that in this car because it will do every bit of that. All the gauges work. 
You have your AC controls here from Vintage Air as well. Your dash pad is nice and clean, real leather here. Uh, you've got the Tremec 5 speed. He had a custom console built for this car, and this is all custom here. And it's done very well. It looks like it fits right in the car. You've got your two cup holders here for your drinks. Um, overall, the interior is really nice. You've got an upgraded JV, JVC stereo system here. You got two door speakers here. They're all powered by an amp that is located in the trunk. And the trunk is very well uh, done. It's nice and neat. Uh, I really, really like these bucket seats that they put in here. They kind of have an old school look, but they're a little bit higher back and they have really good bolsters here to keep you inside the car when you're, you know, getting on it and taking it around turns. Um, another thing that you get here too as well is you get the roll bar here. You have a third brake light that's attached to the back of it. But overall, the interior is very, very nice in this car. I don't see any major imperfections. It looks pretty much like new. Um, even down to your, your sun visors here, they're all in good, good, good order here. They look nice and neat. Um, but with that being said, guys, that's pretty much everything here on the interior. Um, pretty simple with some minor little touches, uh, but very clean. With that being said, let's go ahead and walk over to the lift and get this thing up and I can show you the suspension and everything underneath this car, which is very special. Okay guys, we're here underneath the 1969 Camaro Resto Mod. This thing is fully tricked out. It's got Speedtech Performance front chassis here with coilovers, tubular control arms. You've got the rack and pinion here to give you excellent handling. You got wheel wooded four piston brakes up front here to give you that good stopping power. Adjustable coilovers to adjust the ride height if you'd like. Um, the front chassis here runs back till you get to the Hotchkiss subframe connectors here. You've got the shorty headers that run down into these mid pipes here that have the cutouts. You've got full stainless exhaust that run back to MagnaFlow mufflers, stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers. Um, but overall, the bottom of this car is in really, really good condition. This is the T5 transmission, as you can see under the bottom here. Everything is nice and clean and good condition. So we move back here to the back. You do have a nine inch Curry uh, rear end here to give you that extra strength you need for this horsepower that you got in this LS3. The Willwood brakes continue out back as well. You've got a brand new stainless gas tank here. Overall, this is a, a, a very well done car that's ready to hit the streets and take you to the next cruise in or to hit the next back road to have that enjoyment that you've always wanted. If you'd like to put this car in your driveway, give me or Justin a call. My name is Chris, by the way, or you can get on our website at www.collectiblemotorcaroofatlanta.com. And you can also reach us at 770-738-7111. And we can help you with shipping, financing, anything you need. It's an easy process, no trouble to you. But with that being said, guys, holler at us and catch us on our next video. Thank you.